see that I started with first that may be different from what you I wanted to level up and coach others. Just the opportunity to get the buy-in from adults and to try to share that knowledge that I had and experiences and to see how I could impact other classrooms. So it's our whole point of having a now, right? Yep, some people think it's just practice probably, but I love you've articulated because you've been practicing. It's a reflection of what they learned previously. So that was a challenge at first because not many people are aware of the Opportunity Culture Framework. So what does this job look like? She's not an IF, she's not quite a district coach, but she's and she's also still in the classroom on my grade level and she's going to coach me. Once they realized we were in there to support, to give them immediate feedback, to walk them through things, to be a listening ear. That buy-in is there. We're in this together. We're in the trenches. It makes the continuous improvement conversations authentic because I'm right here with you. This is what I see in my classroom. How can your ideas help me respond to this? So it is really organic and it's constant discussions and conversations about teacher behaviors impacting student outcomes. Knowing that we're go-to people, we're not evaluative, we're just here to support student growth and to make them shine. So yes, opportunity culture just lets us see when we work together, trust one another, build authentic relationships, we can move kids. We can move kids. So looking so far, I see that they've been doing good with adding and subtracting to be more specific. I just know I'm truly an advocate for this framework just because this work is overwhelming and just thinking about my first year as a teacher, if I could come in and would have a MCL on my team, how much growth I could have made. And so this framework just sets you up for success. And as I believe that for students, I believe that for teachers and adults. If we set them up for success, then you will be successful. And this framework sets you up for success. So I truly advocate for opportunity culture. I talk about it all the time. If you only do, are you doing it at your school? Let me tell you about opportunity culture.